are recording. I'm going to show out real quick. Okay. All right, well, I got to remember this. Let's see. I'll, I'll be up there above. Up in would, you, would you like me to, to we hold it? Right. <laughs> no, I'm on Velcro right. stuff. I got it. Okay. Just... <laughs> yeah, I'm like those MMA fighters now. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what you're doing. That's what this is, is This is what I've yeah. come to. That's it. That's you, it you even cut out my quick one liners that, now. This is all I'm worth now. That's, that's where it ends, bullet. Right just wait, here, just wait okay. till you find an easel at one of these shows and, I, and I'm out of a oh, job. Oh, I love that. Well, so. Oh, I love that, bullet. Oh, let's see. I got my candy I hooked from my office. Okay, bullet. Everything, everything's okay. All right. Bullet. Yeah, I'm sorry. You look like a billboard on 85. I'm sorry, bullet. Everybody, yeah, but everybody knows without you, they ain't nothing. They ain't no. Uh, uh, yeah, somebody's got to put this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody has yeah, to click you're, upload. You're, you're safe, because I don't know how to do a computer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, I can see. I can. I feel feel That's like right. feel like naked, boy. So you, feel, you want to hold I can, that? Oh, I hold okay. this. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, you want me to hold it? Let's let's wait for the intro. Cause you oh, oh, do yeah. Clap, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. That's just gonna sound bad. You know? <laughs> you I can't have that. You gotta remind me, boy. All right. Here oh, we go. Hold, hold on one second. I gotta hold on. Excuse me. I know we're on air, live air, boy. I gotta get that goose name, boy. <laughs> okay. 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 Remember, anything ever happens to me, bullet, get rid of this. That's yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, you right. get really get rid of this. Let me see. Every, every, uh, every, 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 you gotta have that one good friend that's gonna get oh, rid yes. of all that stuff for you. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Kenny, Kenny left. He's, he's the he's the eagle. Okay. Okay. Got, I'll, got I'll keep fading. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. Get rid of this. If anything ever happens to me, bullet. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. No problem. There's a, there's a, a not that nobody know how to use it, but you that just. Okay. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Okay, just, just know there's a purple Tupperware container that you might want to get rid of before my parents get through my stuff. Just let you know. <laughs> burn it. Yeah. Just burn it all. Just, I, well, everything Walmart, that's in there. Well, the Walmart Tupperware. Yeah, just, and when, everything that's in there, just burn it. Don't even look inside. All right? <laughs> don't take the lid off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yes. to another edition of Dad, you don't work, you wrestle. Yes. You're in the class. You know what time it is. George, how was your weekend? Boy, I had probably one of the greatest weekends. That's very, that very cool there, boy. Uh, I love you. But listen, I had a great, great weekend of Bullet. Of course, any time that you get to be around a lot of old legends and stuff, just hang out with them and everything. Of course, I'm talking about the big, big show that was in Clayton, North Carolina. We were kind of close. Of course, we'll talk about that in a little bit. You went out Friday, I think. Yes. You were out that way. Of course, Saturday night and... Um, and it was kind of a neat thing for me, Bullet, because everyone knows little George, and, he, and my son, of course, he loves ECW, the way ECW used to be. Of course, he had all the figures when he was little. He grew up. He had, Drew, I'll never forget, he drew Sandman tattoos. He still thinks Sandman should be the president of the United States. I'm just telling you that right now. Uh, but he, little George just thought everybody knew who Raven was, okay? But anyway, had a lot of trouble through his young childhood with that debate. But anyway, for him, and what I'm getting at is for him to uh, spend time with Shane Douglas, a little bit mm. this past weekend, but just them two was just very, it was just neat, yeah. really. It yeah, was yeah, just a good mood. He's very personal, individual. That, that's exactly right. He sit down and just talk with people, you know, he's very nice. Well, guy. and my son, because he didn't want to be put in our famous idiot bag, actually, excuse me, asked me uh, earlier on, Dad, would that be, oh, you know, because he wants to just let Shane Douglas know how much Shane Douglas meant to him growing yeah, up. Yeah. So, but I always think that's cool, boy, just because nobody does that to me. My own son doesn't do that to me, doesn't mean anything. Okay, but uh, I just thought it was neat, and I said, of course. I, I think that would be very, very yeah, professional. There can only be three members in the Triple Threat. Right? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Bro. I still tried to be in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you were the sixth uh, member of the Triple Threat. You, know, you can tell them. <laughs> I just went for little George to ask, can I give Shane my EWA belt so he can throw it down? I thought, be, but for see them have that special time together, Bullet, and, which is just long gone, and nobody cares anymore, and all this kind of stuff. But uh, it was just neat for little George to be able to spend that time. And I, I of course, I thank Shane Douglas uh, just for doing that. Of course, he said my son was, you know, a neat little kid. So it was just, it was just good, Bullet. And nobody understands that in this day and time when everything's been exposed. But for a moment there, little George had some some quality time there with Shane. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was the Ivan Koloff tournament. Of course, me and little George tag. It was kind of neat the first round. Of course, when you put me and my son together. Brother, are you talking about Jerry Lawler, Brian Christopher, disagreeing? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> when I say it's time to go home, it's time to go home. Now, anybody else in the world would agree, except uh, Sandman's little boy, okay? Uh, just standing there saying, no, we ain't going home. So, anyway, but we fixed it, Bullet. So, okay. it's just a great, great night. Of course, we might have that problem uh, coming up pretty soon in Gastonia. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. That's right. Dang, Bullet. I've been, you've been, 
I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it, bro. I've seen your name on more shows, Bullet, this last few weeks, and I love it, Bullet, because I'm I'm gonna be right there with you. So I'm, I feel a little weird. I want to tell people to stop booking me. Uh, but, uh, but, that's like, gonna kill the whole thing. Uh, yeah, they're, they're booking uh, me. And they're we're uh, 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 Miracle on the Mountain again. Yeah. We're back there. Yes. Oh, what a great picture, Bullet, of you right there. Yeah, they they, uh, they use the actual picture of me that I say. Uh, Did you, you tell everybody to use? Guys, like, use some of this stuff for all your promotional materials. You can crop on the background super easy. And then please remember that Man Scout is two words, not <laughs> one. So they did both of those, so that's why I immediately tweeted it out. Even though it's not happening until June 6th, I made sure that Miracle on the Mountain got the early plug. I love Because that. they got everything right. They did it right. So. And it was perfect. Just a great, great, with the mountains in the back, bullet is just a neat little uh, picture. I saw you there. And, of course, we're talking about in a couple weeks we'll be in Gastonia. Yes. Big six-man Tag match going to go right? on bullet. I don't know, buddy. Now, but I, it's just going to be good. So we got Sunny and we got Sunny share and Chastity, all of us <laughs> in one corner. T I don't know how Junior feels about being Chastity. <laughs> I'll this be Chastity. Well, I don't know. Well, 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 well I ain't Chastity. Oh, well, that could be yeah, a whole I, I, I was going to say that's that's a so rough right there. Yeah, so yeah, I bet, I, yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, gotta, how about we're the triple threat? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, how about we're oh, the triple oh, threat? Oh, that sounds I'll, I'll be the Chris Candido. I, I love that. I love you that. Know, he bullet. can be Bam Bam. You can be Shane. Yes. Oh, I love that. that. That's a whole lot tougher too than yeah. Sunny and Cher yeah. and Chastity. Okay, exactly. especially yeah. with, till Chastity makes your mind up. What's yeah. Okay. Bullet, but that's coming up in a couple weeks, of course. And what I want to put a quick plug in here, Bullet. Uh, we are two weeks away from our famous Anderson Brothers Seven. Uh, it. I want to make sure which. But they got like four high schools. We're, we're, we're at West, West Lincoln. We're West, West Lincoln. Lincoln High School, of course, in Lincoln, North Carolina. Big fundraiser for Relay for Life. Bullet. It. A lot of great, great feedback already on this. They, they're announcing it over the school systems and and sending letters home with the kids. And it's just a big, big fundraiser. Of course, the principal's a great guy there. Uh, one of the guys, Jim Hefner, is going to actually help us out, who we've known. We've been in the ring with him time. before. Yes, time, so yes. He, a good friend of, of, of ours is going to be there. And it's just a great, great night. A lot of our guys will be a big, big tournament for the, the big coveted Anderson Brothers Trophy. And we just want everybody to come out and support that. Uh, you know, I just get tickled, Bullet, when we do the best we can to put to put our posters up and in this internet age. And, and then it was so funny because underneath this poster, one of the, our fans asked this other lady that I don't know, was she coming? And she said, well, this is the first I've heard about it. And it really makes you mad. I, I didn't, she's not going in idiot bag, but you won't think, lady, if you ain't heard about it, it's your fault. I mean, you're, so she's actually commenting on the poster underneath that she's never seen it. So, but you had to to comment on it, stupid. But anyway, uh, we hope she comes. I love her bullet. I hope she comes. So she's not stupid yet. But anyway, uh, so that's coming up, bullet. Okay. Uh, so we got that coming up. Got a lot of stuff coming up. I know you wanted to mention a few things about your big, big show you had Friday, of course, for our great, uh, great friend Steve Carino out there. Yes, yes, this, week, pa this so, past, yes, this past, past week. Yep. Yes, so Steve Carino called me last minute. Had said he had four cancellations. Wow. Uh, and me being a person that's promoted shows before and dealt with cancellations before, uh, on Five Dollar Wrestling Show one time I had fifteen cancellations. <laughs> So I I know that and only ten people booked. Yeah, that's yeah, how exactly. Bad things and that's a, yeah, that's a good one. I like uh, that. I like very Rodney well, Dangerfield well, to be right. Oh, that's very Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> I love Rodney Dangerfield. Said one time his house caught on fire and his kids said uh, his mama said be quiet you'll wake daddy. <laughs> so I just always loved that from Rodney Dangerfield. Okay. So. But, but no, like you said, it for Ken Well, obviously, I was like, I'm there. You got, you got me for sure. I, I know that feeling, and you know, we got got our Booker T to go along with. Oh, I love that. And uh, he happened to uh, wrestle a guy uh, by the name of Base Brawler, who looks. He's got a similar build to uh, a former ECW uh, original. Uh, I think his uh, last name was last name has an O in the end of it, and <laughs> first name kind of. Ryan's with even <laughs> so like I mean so so he got a good match for sure uh, and I just kind of threw him in the cars to help with with Steve because he you know he had like four cancellations so yeah. I'm bringing there's two people coming for you and then just just throw a good time it was a new building for him right and he was running in this place called Mac Daddy's which is basically like a, the Chuck E. Cheese of oh I love uh, that just that that yeah, area yeah, oh, yeah, just over, that. over by that area there it's a little local place they squeeze this ring in there yeah and, oh I love that just uh, it, it was great all, all the way around you know we sold a little, a little merch for Vince. Uh, so Vince was Everybody's around with happy. that, and so you know, and that was real good. It's just that he got a good little crowd. He, he split it with with the venue. They're real happy. They're going to do it again. Oh, I love that. And he just need, he just needed some people to have some good matches. So um, I appreciate the fact that one of the first people he called was me. Yeah, so that's I, very I, true. I feel like that. I feel I really honored that. that when he was in a tight spot, that 
uh, he, I was one of the person that called, and I made sure that I didn't let him down. Yeah, so I love that. Just, uh, that was just real nice. Great job. He was just 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 a good guy. Did the show, turn around, came right back, and I had the whole weekend to myself. So oh, I love that. It was good. Now, have we done the? Uh, speaking of Ronnie Dangerfield, have we done the? That is the next gig Monday. Yet? That's coming next Monday. It's coming next Monday. So please, yeah. All right, uh, please, Comedy please. Zone here in Charlotte. Comedy right? Zone here in Charlotte. Make sure you're there at 7 p.m. Doors open at 7 p.m. Show starts at 8, but make sure you're there by 7 because they're gonna pack that place. Yes. They're giving away a bunch of free people to other stuff, but if you know me, you just gotta drop my name to the door. So please show up. Drop my name on the door. You get in for free. Yeah. For wow. free. You hear wow. me? My voice, please come out because the more people that I bring, then if they want to book me as an Oprah and they yes. know that I can bring some people. That's exactly right. If, 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 I, can't bring, oh, oh, if I can't I love that. If I can't bring people out for my debut for free, why would they ever book me in the future? That's exactly right. So if you oh, want to see, if I you want to that. laugh a little bit, you want to see the first time I do this uh, somewhat professionally, oh, I love uh, it, you know, make sure you come out, like I said, 7 p.m., Doors open to the Comedy Zone here in Charlotte at the, at the NC Music Factory, and you get to see some stand-up comedy. And also, our guy uh, Briscoe will be there too. So oh. you get to see uh, two wrestlers make make a stab oh, at oh, the, I love that. a second well, act, it, if you oh, will. Man. Well, it's a third or fourth well, act for me. Well, so. Michael Hayes always said, "Don't put all your eggs in one basket." So I got uh, a lot of baskets. These days. <laughs> I know that. I'm excited for that. Not a lot of eggs, but I got a lot of baskets. We got plastic eggs that yeah. open, there's nothing in them. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> well, with all that being, I'm just just excited for that. Yeah, and here's the reason I'm big, I'm excited, I won't harp on that, I talked about a lot about last year, is just, if people, and I know people won't understand this, but it's just the nerve it takes to take that step. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's, it's Forget scary. It, uh, regardless of if you, if, you, if you do good or not, if, whatever, but it's just the fact that you have decided to take that step. A lot of people don't, Bullet. I hear so many stories, and so do you, of people that, even with our wrestling school here, uh, that have waited, that did not, that wish year, that back in the day they would have took that step that we're talking about, Bullet, right? But they didn't. And as time passes on, and, and, and uh, you know, uh, this one of my buddies at the gym, he just left today to go to Orlando, Florida, and he's pursuing a minor league baseball career. And he's just, and I kind of love that. He's just up, and late, I mean, he's just, it's a good chance. He's a heck of a ball player. He's Why getting a little, a little older, but he said, I'm, I'm going to do it. So and I just love that. So That's I don't want that point to be missed of you taking that step uh, to pursue it. Listen, I've already failed at, at, uh, at two things in my life. <laughs> failed at shot putting and failed at pro wrestling. So what's the worst that could happen yeah. to stand up comedy yeah. stuff? That's right. If I fail at it, it's just the third yeah. thing I failed at. <laughs> and then it's just like this whole under for life thing. The more failures I have in life, eventually the people are going to... The more success you're going to They're going to appreciate the fact of how many failures I've That's had. That's exactly right. <laughs> so. and, 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 and we've always got the cushion of this great TV show. Bullet, exactly. Back home. That's exactly. why uh, I go out and try all this kind of stuff. So what if it bombs? I always can come back to the comfort of this great studio and this great TV show. So right. with that being said, Bullet, of course, end it on a good note. We do have uh, probably one of the worst idiots that I, well, oh. personally, that I have never met. Uh, that's what's okay. so funny about this little story here, Bullet. And here's what's so amazing about this is, and I've said it so many times, is, in any other sport, as you get older or you've done it for a while, you're treated with so much respect. Honestly, I don't care if you're Johnny Bench, Pete Rose, whoever, whatever, Hank Aaron, whatever, uh, or a basketball player, Michael Jordan, still respected. But for some reason, in professional wrestling, the longer you do it, as I have said, people always got something smart to say. When are you going to quit? When are you going to, you know, you're too old, too old, and all this kind of stuff. Because you don't bother me. Uh, you don't bother me. Well, anyway, some guy... And, uh, and I'll mention his name in a minute because he's a complete idiot. Actually, did not contact me. He's not friends with me at all because I don't have many. But he private messaged my son. Uh, not Facebook, private message him and just basically just talk, about, you know, dogged his daddy. He said, uh, you know, your dad's old. I, I, I know. What, are your, what, is your, what is this guy's thinking? But anyway, and just basically asked my son. What's his end game here? <laughs> oh, 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 what are you, you going to get out of this? What, what's okay? your end game, sir? Like, Especially <laughs> when my son is the nuts one. I'm actually the... Well, not if there's a calm one, and I said it best today, I, he's the bad soup, man. I'm the good one. Remember that in the comic books when they had Zara. a bad soup? Yeah, oh, boy, God. That, I tried to think of that today. Shoot, <laughs> I should have called you. One of these days, I'm going to learn, boy. <laughs> Dang. So I just had to say bad Superman. <laughs> so, God. Same right? thing. But Same he did thing. have a name. Dang. Bizarro. Boy, that's good. I'll never question your like comp book ability. Bad, but, bad buy. Oh yeah. Instead of goodbye, it was bullet. Bad buy. Oh, it was. Oh, I just got goosebumps when you said his name, bullet. But anyway, so quick story short. Uh, Kenny Lefford is this complete idiot's name, bullet. Okay. He private messaged my son, told me how I need to quit that I'm just old, and of course that was the wrong thing to say. My son can call me old. 
can kick me around with him. But, buddy, oh my gosh. So now, basically, little George is driving around Charlotte right now trying to find this guy to beat the crap out of him. So, uh, and, 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 so anyway, and it don't bother me. I even put on there, listen, I quit worrying five homes ago, bullet, okay? Five houses ago. Yeah. I quit worrying about it, okay? So, but anyway, so I'm going to put this idiot who basically, I guess, little George looked at the guy, I tell you, never been to a gym, probably 30 years old, never did anything in his life, uh, which it don't bother me at all, but uh, my point, what tickled me so much about all this is I won't mention his name again, but Keith Lefter, the biggest idiot in the world, is not one of my Facebook friends. Well, George said he's not even friends with him. So uh, we will throw him an idiot bag, but what I love about it is now about 500 people have are looking for this guy. And he may have just done it as a joke, whatever, but bullet. You know, just shut up, people. You see what, what, what I'm was saying? Your, what was your end game, sir? I, I mean, what, 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 like, was he like, what, what was he thinking? He's like, I'm going to type this message to talk about how old George is and he's yeah. hanging up, but I'm going to say it to him, his son. And then his son's going to say it to his dad. Yeah. And then you're going to sit there and go, you know what? You know, let's forget <laughs> about when I wrestled Ric Flair yeah. on, on, uh, on, on WCW. Let's forget about everything. The toy I've box done. with Ultimate Warrior let's, or any let, of that. Let's forget about this promotion, this wrestling school. These, all these things that I'm doing right now, and all these bookings I got coming up. This one guy that related message through my son on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna quit. Yeah. Like was that exactly. your, was that your end game? Sir? That's right. Was that your end game, Kenny? And, and, and because I, I don't and, know what what else. And what's so been. funny? Even little George asked the idiot. Well, my dad. Everybody knows where he's at. I mean, he he's got like eight Facebook pages, uh, uh, three websites that that list where he's gonna be. Go there. Little George even told him. Said, you go tell him. Yeah. yeah. But they. Uh, that's my point. They never do. Well, they never do. And and so, so anyway, it's like, it's like that one guy that said the last time I was in Danbury, which I'll be back in Danbury this w weekend for Northeast Wrestling. But last time I was in Danbury, somebody said, "Please stop booking Jake Manning." Listen, I've been saying that for a while. That's the promoter's fault. If the yeah. promoters stop calling, I'll stop going. But if they keep calling and telling me to come, I'll keep coming. That's so, exactly right. So that's not my fault. Don't put that on me. <laughs> Don't put that on me. I've been trying to tell the promoters to stop. Okay, I've been trying to tell them to stop calling me. You tell them. That's exactly I'm right. I'm not going to tell them. Listen, if Kevin Kelly, who came down to WCW a short time from AWA, who later on become Nails, mm -hmm. if Kevin Kelly, who basically beat the crap out of me in a dark match in center stage, if he couldn't make me quit, stupid Kenny Ledford uh, on his mom's computer is not going to make me quit. Relay a message to okay? to you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, anyway. What is your end game? Like, uh, uh, yeah, what, what is, that's so stupid, uh, it, it's even below the idiot bag. But we'll pull him in there anyway, bullet. Absolutely. Uh, we'll put him in a Shane Douglas yeah, idiot yeah, bag. Yeah, we sure, yeah. <laughs> I love that, bullet, very much. So, anyway, with all that being said, bullet, uh, you know, uh, just shut up, people. Come on, just... And it don't bother us. What can they possibly say that's going to hurt? We don't have any feelings, bullet, but it ain't going to hurt our feelings. But now he's got some psycho son of mine that, you know, just got a compliment from Shane Douglas, who's probably walking around with his Shane Douglas shirt. Uh, with a here. Bane mask yeah, and chains around his neck. <laughs> yeah, you got to contend with Kenny. Eating tuna on raw bread, yeah. ready to kill somebody. Okay, and then, then, then I don't think it, <laughs> the main thing was good, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was real good. So anyway, uh, just watch out for just trying to keep it. Just trying to keep in the DC yeah. universe. That's what I'm trying to get. <laughs> oh, I love that, boy. Yeah. Oh, God, I wish I'd have called you today on that post. And that's <laughs> but anyway, with all that being said, Bullet, we're just so happy to be here. We've got a lot going on, Bullet, a lot of stuff going on. Summertime's coming. Anderson Brothers coming. but just a lot of stuff coming up. So thank you so much, Bullet. Uh, well, you. let me say this to you, and it's a message that I don't have to relay uh, through Facebook to your son, oh, to you, oh. because it's something you already know, that the, uh, second, oh, that's good. the second greatest book of all time is available at highspots.com. If you want to know more about what me and George are doing, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Manscout Manning. Thank yeah. you once again for joining us for another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. Good show, boy. Good show today, buddy. Good one. Very good. Dang, I'll never question you again, boy. If you knew the name of the bad Superman. God, it was on the end of my tongue. Shoot. Because he was like, same outfit, but just, same gimmick, yeah, but just different. From Bizarro. Yeah, exactly. Shoot, man. Bad bye.